Welcome, and thank you for joining us for the second annual UMD Global Conference. This time in the great city of Toronto, home of the largest contingent of Macedonians in North America. Last year's conference in Washington, D.C., brought together hundreds of delegates from 14 different countries. And it was the start of a great and new tradition for the global Macedonian. This year's conference represents a celebration of a path traveled and the promise of the journey ahead as we build partnerships together. Hundreds of guests will converge right here in the Sheraton Center Hotel from close to 20 countries for the next four days. Now, I would like to thank, uh, take this opportunity to thank a few of our key sponsors for this year's conference. Special thanks goes to the Bitov Foundation, Turkish Airlines, Westbury, the Zafirovsky family, Brookdale Recycling, and the, and the Marku family. Thank you very much for your generous support. Just to recognize a few guests in the audience, His Excellency Ambassador Lubin Tevdovsky, the Ambassador of Macedonia and his lovely wife uh, Violeta Tevdovsky, His Excellency Ambassador Martin Trenevsky, uh, the Consul General of Macedonia to Toronto and his lovely wife Vasilka, Mr. Tom Codwell, Thank you very much for coming, who will be the keynote speaker for today's opening plenary. Mr. John Bitov, Mr. John Bitov Jr., Mr. Z uh, Mr. Mike Zafirovsky, Ms. Elizabeth Naumovsky, uh, Ivona Greenberg, a member of our board, and she will be moderating the next panel, uh, Mr. Boban Jovanovsky, and the various representatives from our communities worldwide, from countries coming from Australia, Romania, Albania, Greece, Germany, France, among others. Ladies and gentlemen, this year marks the 19th anniversary of independence for the Republic of Macedonia. Our forefathers fought for a sovereign, independent, and democratic Republic of Macedonia, and their dream was realized in 1991. The road to independence was not easy, and the road ahead promises more difficulties. Today, Macedonia and the Macedonian people face many challenges, including the right to its own identity, together with the unfettered right to civil and human rights and greater economic stability. But together, we'll meet and overcome these challenges. The United Macedonian Diaspora was founded on the universal ideals of peace, freedom, self-determination, and equality. UMD views the Republic of Macedonia, its people, and the diaspora as partners working together to strengthen Macedonia to meet the challenges of the 21st century. For this purpose, we have chosen the theme of our conference to be Building Partnerships, which highlights the underlying topic, the global Macedonian, United We Can Make a Difference. With this theme in mind, Macedonians and friends of Macedonia from throughout the world have converged in Toronto to discuss issues affecting our community, to educate the public about Macedonia, and to develop new strategies and skills to increase our effectiveness as advocates and ambassadors of Macedonia wherever we may live. Before I uh, call on the next speakers, I'd like to thank uh, our volunteers which put together this conference and our planning committee because without them this would not be possible. Uh, our event uh, coordinator Carolyn Jeffs which logistically uh, you know sometimes things uh, you know planning in a year in advance can be uh, quite hectic but this planning committee really uh, went beyond uh, the call of uh, volunteerism and thank you very much uh, for volunteering and taking so many numerous hours. Um, and now, I'd like to call up uh, the Ambassador of the Republic of Macedonia, Ambassador Tevdovsky, to give some remarks to you. Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, sisters and brothers Macedonians, during these days, Toronto is transformed into a center and vibrant nucleus of the Macedonian united mind and soul from around the world. You, 
representatives of Macedonians from many countries and from different continents have gathered in the friendly and democratic Canada to share opinions and ideas, to talk on Macedonian matters, and to send once again the messages of cooperation and understanding to the world. This global Macedonian conference has united people of Macedonian origin that belong to the academic, business, and political elite of Canadian, American, and other societies. It has gathered, as well, a lot of good friends and partners that work closely and feel closely for Macedonia and the Macedonians. Therefore, this gathering represents the maturity, the awareness, and the commitment of the Macedonian nation in the creative competition of the globalized world. I am proud, as Ambassador of Macedonia to Canada and as a Macedonian, with the wise decision to organize this great Macedonian gathering right here in Toronto and in Canada.